We've had some problems with slugs eating our uh, bean plants inside of our boxed garden. Uh, they just uh, climb over and eat the beans. I've got a beer trap out and it catches the odd slug every now and then. These three guys were actually underneath the beer trap. Um, we tried lining the cold frame with ground used coffee beans to uh, deter them as we read online that that was supposed to work. Didn't think it would since most of the caffeine, which is how the website said it would work, is usually gone after you brew it. And even if we use fresh coffee beans after a few rains, it would be in the same situation. So another method that I've read about is using copper wire. So I've got some copper wire, which I bent into a circle, and I've removed any coating that was on it. And I've got three slugs, and this one's pretty feisty. So I'm going to move him into the center. I'm going to place the copper wire in. And then we will see if they cross it. So the theory here is, which seems a little ridiculous to me, is that uh, they get electrocuted when they cross copper. I don't think that would be the case, but we'll see. If it does prove to be true, then uh, I can put a little strip of copper wire all the way along the top of my boxes. Keep them out. So, there he goes. Doesn't seem to care. Now this is kind of a thick gauge copper wire, so I've got some thinner gauge that I'm also going to try. There he goes on his escape. Here he is going for the smaller copper wire. This is 0.2 millimeters. And as you can see, the slug is not getting electrocuted by the copper wire. So that myth is busted. Might as well try uh, see what he does with the coffee grounds. So we've lined the lid with coffee grounds. And he's not even looking for a way around them. It's like, hey, this is nice and juicy, I could probably eat this. Other two slugs have woken up now and are about to cross copper wire. I've grabbed a couple eggshells here and uh, say they don't like crossing the eggshells. Just kind of thinking I might just put him in it and just see if he just beelines straight out of there or if he goes in circles a few times. Okay, so I've dried off the eggshell and dried off the slug a little bit. Let's see if you can go straight down over the edge of it like that. It's probably not going to do anything even if you lined your entire garden with them. He's actually decided he's just going to walk along the top of it. Yeah, I think the only thing that really works, I think the beer works a little bit. Squishing them definitely works and uh, probably some sort of a slug bait or salt based deterrent. So all these natural methods seem to just be old wives tales. I have wired up a double electric fence, two copper wires insulated from each other connected to a 9 volt battery, simple on off switch. 
This is what happens with Slug when he attempts to cross. Uh, gotta make sure that he doesn't get under it. Just a simple prototype proof of concept. Basically, I don't want to be touching it when he touches it. He might be big enough to. So, there you go. When he touches the second wire and he shorts it, he gets a nasty little shock. That's his fourth time he's been shocked. There's number five. So, a little cruel, but he won't be eating my beans when I get this surrounding my garden.